Thank you for joining me today. Uh, in this video, as a part of others in this series, I'll be reading a paragraph to you, such as the one to my left. Embedded within this paragraph are the potential for errors related to grammar, punctuation, syntax, and so forth. Please keep that in mind as you listen to me read. I apologize in advance, I do have the hiccups, so it may sound a little odd when I'm reading, but uh, that's just me. Okay, uh, like I mentioned, oh, I'm sorry, I'll go ahead and read this paragraph, which of course has these errors, and I'll step out of frame asking you then to go ahead and pause the video to make corrections on your own. Uh, ideal ideally, you would resume so that you and I can make corrections together. Uh, hopefully your corrections would align with my own. If, if not, please feel free to use the comment section below to let me know which edits that you, uh, you provided. Perhaps you suggest that I should have used or may have missed. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started. <coughs> Hiccups or not. All right, so one of the firefighters said, I think we'll have to cut off the, snake, the snake's head. No way, said Scott, she's just scared. We can find a way to persuade her to let go. Mean, meanwhile, Daniel was fine. They tried everything, from soft music to ice packs, but nothing seemed to work. Suddenly, one of the paramedics had an idea. I, re I read that snakes are sensitive to odors. I think we should try smelling salts, she suggested. Scott, uh, excuse me, Scott was willing to try anything as long as it didn't hurt India. So the, par the paramedic broke open an ammonia capsule and held it close to India's head. Um, Oh, okay, go ahead and pause the video here. Hopefully you can read that. Uh, make those corrections and resume when you'd like to correct with me. <coughs> Excuse me, all right, well, I am moving, so let's go ahead and get started. So right at the beginning, one of the firefighters here, we have the singular possessive form of firefighters, but it's not in possession of anything. We're talking about a multitude of firefighters, so a, plural a plurality. So we're gonna drop that apostrophe. There's no single possessive here. One of the firefighters said, comma, and contextually I know that this is dialogue, captured dialogue using quotes. Open quote, I think we'll have to cut off the snake's head. <gasps> we only have one snake, and yet here we're written it as a plurality. Now we want that singular possessive because it's the snake's, what? They're in possession of that head. So apostrophe S. No way, said Scott, uh, comma. She's, open quote, she's just scared. We can find a way to persuade, which is misspelled, that E should be an A, so persuade her to let go, period, within that quote. Meanwhile, Daniel was fine. They tried everything from soft music to ice packs, but nothing seemed to work. Suddenly, one of the, oh, suddenly, comma, one of the paramedics had an idea. Oh, here, I read that snakes are, so, oh, okay. So contextually, I could assume in this case that the firefighter is speaking. So I'm gonna go ahead and open quote. So I read that snakes are sensitive, not a sensitive, nope. Change that a to an i, sensitive to odors. I think we should try smelling salts, she suggested. Here we're attributing the speech to what came prior. So I'm gonna close the quotes here because that is the conclusion of her statement. Scott was willing to try anything, which for whatever reason are two disparate pieces, we want to unify them. So it's a single compound, compound word. So I'm going to link those two together. As long as it didn't, here we have, or we should have the contraction of did plus not. Whenever you're forming a contraction, be sure to bond them using an apostrophe. And when you're appending the word not to a word, you would sit the apostrophe between the N and the T. It replaces the O. As long as it didn't hurt India, period. Next sentence, let's start with the capital. So the paramedic broke open an ammonia capsule and held it close to India's head. Singular possessive for the head, not a multitude of Indias, period. Uh, okay, uh, hopefully I didn't miss anything. If I did, unfortunately it does happen. Please let me know what it was in the co comment section below so that you can help not only me, but others as well. If you'd like to continue to practice with me, which I would really like, uh, please subscribe and like the video if you did find it helpful. All right, thank you. I look forward to working with you in the next one.